Hi, I'm Brain with Furuno. We're out here in the Florida Keys with Rush Malts. Here's a quick tip on how to set up your track lines for variable color based on sea surface temperature variation. Now, Rush, we all, we all know what track lines are. Absolutely. You know, little, little line that follows the boat around no matter where you go. But at Furuno, we can do some really cool things with these track lines. We can change the color based on depth, based on different environments. One thing that's really useful is we can change the color based on sea surface temperature variation. So you could be running out and you can see where those temp breaks are in your track line. So wait a minute, you're telling me I could sit at home, look at my SST charts, see where these temperature breaks are going to be and while I'm running around watching my track line I could tell where the temperatures are changing. Yeah so you can get a good idea of where that temp break is supposed to be you know at home mm -hmm. but then what we can do is we can set this track line up for this variable color and we can tell you exactly where that temp break is how strong that temp break is where it ends give you a lot of good information for your day of fishing. And could I customize it? Let's say I want my colder water to be blue or I want my warmer water to be red. Can I customize it in there? Absolutely, we can change every bit of this track line color. We can change the color of it. We can actually change the step in which we show you that variation, whether it's 0.2 degrees, 0.5 degrees, one degree or two degree. And I can show you how to do all that on your TZ Touch 3. So it's pretty simple. We go to home and we're just gonna come into our settings and we have ship and track. What you wanna do is you wanna scroll down to track and we have where it says track color is fixed right now. We wanna change that to variable. We'll go back and now we wanna say, how do we want that to be variable? So right now it's defaulted to depth. Let's change that to sea surface temperature variation. And now it's set up to run in sea surface temperature variation. Your track line's gonna change color but we were talking earlier about how we can customize it the way you want it. I could change my colors here. What color do I want it to be? How, you know, do I want my colds to be blue? Do I want my hots to be red? How do I want to set that up? That also gives me the ability to change how, how much variation do I want to track? Am I looking for real small changes, 0.1 degrees? Or am I looking for a big change, one degree or two degree? Now, I really like the fact that you can adjust the increments you mm -hmm. know, because there's some days you're looking for that big sharp edge, that that big change. And yeah. there's other days where it could just be small degree and yeah. that's what you want to be fishing. Absolutely. So I really like that aspect of it. Yeah, those those little changes in temperature can be what are holding the fish offshore. Yes. So absolutely. This is another quick tip on how to set up your track lines for variable color change based on sea surface temperature variation. For more information, go to Furuno.com or check out our YouTube channel.